Hello, everyone. I'm Jackie Reese Pepin, Executive Director of the National Association of Biology Teachers. It's my pleasure to welcome you to a special awards recognition ceremony for our 2020 NABT awardees. Our awards ceremony is always one of my favorite parts of the conference, and this year is no different. The conference is different, but our association's mission to empower educators and recognize empowered teachers as leaders has not changed. And like always, I am going to cry. The NEBT Awards program would not be possible without the hard work and dedication of a number of people. We would like to thank NABT, the NABT Awards Committee, our section chairs, our OBTA directors, and everyone within NABT that nominated a colleague for an award. We would also like to thank our generous sponsors. Without their support, none of these awards would be possible. And lastly, I would like to thank everyone who supported our award-winning teachers this year. It is now my pleasure to introduce Dr. Julie Engel, the NABT president-elect, who will be presenting the 2020 NABT honorary membership. Thank you, Jackie. The honorary membership award is the highest honor given by NABT, recognizing individuals who achieve, have achieved distinction in teaching, research, or service in the biological sciences. This year, the Honorary Membership Committee received many outstanding nominations for consideration, but ultimately the committee identified one individual who clearly exemplified the criteria for this honor. Now, once an individual is recommended for the award, the president-elect, aka me this year, solicits a minimum of nine letters of support from NABT members. These letters include specific examples of distinctions the nominee has achieved and their impact on biology education, students, and or the society. Now, some of you may be aware of my anglegrams. These are roses are red, violets are blue poems I write each month that incorporate science concepts, the holiday that month, and or current events as they relate to science. So instead of me telling you what I think about the individual who's about to receive the honorary membership award, let me read an anglegram that contains comments that I gleaned from the NABT peers letters of support. Roses are red, violets are blue. Bob, this anglegram is written just for you. You have been nominated for a prestigious award because your dedication to NABT has been way above board. Members of the NABT organization selected you to receive the 2020 Honorary Membership Award without hesitation. When I sought out letters of support from your peers, all responded with cries of happy cheers. I had the honor of reading all of your letters of support, and I would like to share some quotes that describe you without distort. Bob exemplifies all that I have come to understand about uh, about NABT, rep what NABT represents, indicating that you step up to the plate and help with all NABT events. Bob is one of the most caring, funniest, and intelligent people I have worked with, which means that you are just like an NABT myth. Bob has served as a mentor, guide, and inspiration to me, and many people's comments suggested they agree. Bob has always, always does what is best for the NABT organization. This comment was paralleled in many letters with excitation. Bob is a man of outstanding character and charm, meaning you are always willing to lend not just a hand, but also an arm. Bob has served NABT with the utmost devotion and integrity at every level, which contradicts anyone who may say you are a little devil. Bob is the Mr. NABT go-to guy, suggesting you would, uh, you would do anything for NABT under our big blue sky. I know you are a humble man, so I'm going to stop with the flattering quotes before you think this is a scam. Bob, I have known you for many years, and my respect and admiration for you is very clear. It is with excitement that I present you with the 2020 NABT Honorary Membership Award. Your dedication to NABT wins the blue ribbon cord. 
NATP, NABT members, it is my sincere honor to recognize Mr. Bob Melton for the 2020 Honorary Membership Award. Well, thanks, Julie. This, is, this has been quite an unexpected honor for which I am deeply grateful. I want to thank the NABT board, President-elect Julie Engel, and all the people who wrote such wonderful letters of support on my behalf. And I want to extend a special word of thanks to Executive Director Jackie Reeves Pepin for continuing to find ways to keep me actively engaged in this organization. I must also express my thanks and appreciation to Fern Melton for her support, encouragement, and sometimes tolerance of all of my NABT and non-NABT endeavors over the years. As a profession, teachers are generally altruistic, giving of themselves, sacrificing time, treasure, and these times, in these days, even their health to the benefit of students and society at large. We tend to be future focused, paying it forward, so to speak, putting in the efforts now, often behind the scenes, so others can have greater success in the future. All of us have, here have paid, paid it forward to NABT by way of our talent and leadership, and most likely will continue to do so. NABT is made up of the best biology teachers in the world and those of us who want to be like them. That's the NABT family. If I have had some small role in assisting in the efforts to make NABT a better, more supportive place for our association family, it has been my honor and privilege to do so. So continuing with the pay it forward theme, I'd like to transition to the next award, which gives me great joy to be able to present. Since 2010, the Biology Educator Leadership Scholarship has provided a $5,000 scholarship to an early career biology teacher to provide funding toward their pursuit of graduate education. This program is entirely funded by NABT member contributions. This is an investment in the future of an early career teacher that we make to improve the profession and by extension the quality of biology education in this country. You are sitting at your computer right now. This is your chance to, play, uh, to pay it forward today. Before you shut down your device after this session, I'm asking you to go to nabt.org and click the donate button and make a contribution in any amount to the Bells Fund so this program can continue. This year's recipient is Andronisha Frazier who currently teaches biology at North Shore Technical Community College in Lacombe, Louisiana, and is pursuing a PhD in curriculum and instruction at Louisiana State University. Although she has relatively few years of teaching under her belt, the range of her past teaching experience is rich. It includes work in an upward bound program in Louisiana, serving as a TA at the University of Houston downtown and teaching at a community college and public charter school in Houston, Texas. Let me share a bit of the inspiring message from her Bell's application. From her, it says, I have developed an endearment for community college students due to their drive and determination. I am just as passionate about STEM, particularly biology education. I have listened to my students explain their frustration with mathematics and science courses. Since enrolling at LSU, I have noticed deficiencies in what my students know and how they learn science. As a result, I have completely restructured the way I teach and develop curricular content. I strongly believe my students are reaping the benefits of my schooling through improved instructional quality. Also, some of my students have stated that content is interesting when their teacher is passionate, which is something I strive to deliver on a day-to-day -day basis. I crave bringing this interest to the world around me through research. I desire to be a science content creator for secondary and post-secondary education and a distinguished university professor. It's my pleasure to present the 2020 Biology Educator Leadership Scholarship to Andronisha Frazier.
Jackie, you were muted. Of course I was. Uh, it's now my pleasure to introduce Jason, who unmuted me, and now he's unmuting. Uh, Jason, Dr. Jason Crean is the NEBT Awards Committee Chair, and he will be presenting the rest, well, not the rest, many of our NEBT <laughs> Awards. <laughs> thank you, Jackie. And I do want to formally thank uh, Jackie for the amazing sh work she does every year on all of our behalf. Um, to put together a conference, and this year has been no exception. So thank you, Jackie, for all the work that you do. Um, so I want to start with the Ecology Environmental Education Award uh, this year, um, and that is an award sponsored by Vernier, which we thank you for your sponsorship. Uh, the Ecology Environmental Science Teaching Award will be given to a secondary school teacher who has successfully developed and demonstrated an innovative approach in the teaching of ecology environmental science and has carried that, that commitment to the environment into the community. Um, Dr. It's my pleasure to present this award to Dr. Tara Elkhorn. Um, the, her committee, the committee for this award um, had some key words to share um, and some of them are exemplified in her comments on this slide. Uh, but her flexibility when it comes to uh, where and when she's teaching um, her adaptability to new, um, new environments, as well as her passion uh, for teaching really showed in her application. And so it is our pleasure as the uh, NABT Awards Committee to award uh, this, uh, this award to uh, Tara Elkhorn. So congratulations, Tara. Our next award is the uh, Evolution Education Award. And that is sponsored by BSCS, who we thank as well. Um, and this award recognizes innovative classroom teaching and or community education efforts to promote the accurate understanding of biological evolution. Uh, as you probably know, this uh, awards like this, um, or these efforts I should say, are uh, no more needed now um, than they've ever been. And so it is our pleasure uh, to, to uh, award this award to Glenn Branch this year from the National Center for Science Education. Um, as someone who just sat in an, uh, an NCSC work, uh, webinar this, this, uh, earlier this week, I can say that I'm continually impressed by what comes out of NCSC, and we know that uh, Mr. Branch is behind so much of this important work. His dedication um, to the teaching of evolution in particular um, and his support for teachers everywhere um, was apparent through his work and through his application. So on behalf of the NABT Awards Committee, we, we thank you for your work and our, uh, it's our pleasure to present you with this award. The Genetics Education Award is sponsored by the American Society of Human Genetics as well as the Genetic Society of America. And the Genetics Education Award recognizes innovative student-centered classroom instruction to promote the understanding of genetics and its impact on inheritance, health, and biological research. This year, the award goes to Dr. Elizabeth Forrester. Um, through her application and her work, it was very clear uh, her professionalism uh, was apparent, as well as her commitment to the teaching of genetics and her resilience, um, in particular now, because we hear that her institution has been uh, made a COVID testing site. And so um, it is our distinct pleasure to offer Dr. Elizabeth Forrester the 2020 Genetics Education Award. Congratulations. And the last award I'm going to um, introduce today is uh, the new, Outstanding New Biology Teacher Award. Um, this award has a special place in my heart because of my work with pre-service biology teachers every year. And I find this um, is so important to really um, identify our leaders in biology education early on in their careers and foster that. Uh, this award is sponsored by Pearson. Uh, the Neil A. Campbell Educational Trust and NABT, and it recognizes outstanding teaching in grades 7-12 by the, uh, 
by a new biology teacher, which is defined by someone who's within their first three years of teaching uh, when they're nominated. And this person has developed an original and outstanding program or technique that's made a contribution to the profession at the start of their career. Uh, this year, the award goes to Mr. Matthew Holden. Um, some things that came out from his application and his committee had mentioned is that obviously he's enthusiastic um, and you can tell from this picture how much enthusiasm he has for his for his craft. Um, and he's also um, highly motivated to grow and develop as an educator. And that's something that I think we all can appreciate. So it's my pleasure to uh, award uh, Mr. Holden the 2020 Outstanding New Biology Teacher Award. Congratulations, Matthew. So I'm gonna hand it back to Jackie, who's gonna continue uh, the award cycle. All right, it's my pleasure to introduce a scholarship that NEBT gives out every year. Sorry, my notes are out of order. I'd like to present the Jennifer Fanner Still Travel Award to Nicole Werner. As many of you know, NEBT established the Jennifer Fanner Still Travel Award, or as we like to call it, the Fanny Fund, in 2018 to honor our dear friend Jen. Jen believed in the power of the NEBT community and the power to make a teacher and make them a national leader. She believed that you could do that by coming to a community like NABT and interacting with other leaders. The scholarship was established in Jen's memory. And this year, Mrs. Nicole Werner from Interboro High School in Prospect, Pennsylvania was our 2020 awardee. 2020 is her first NABT conference and it's the first conference we've done virtually. So she's in great company but she will also be a first-time attendee in our 2020 NABT conference in Atlanta. We'd like to congratulate Nicole and we look forward to meeting her in person next year. Next I will be presenting our section awards. NABT sections are communities within our community organized by areas of interest like teaching level. NAPT currently supports four sections and our next winner is a leader in two of them, AP Biology and chair of, and as chair of the NABT Bio Club. I'd like to present this year's Kim Foya AP Service Award to Chris Monsoor. The AP Service Award was established to honor a truly remarkable AP teacher whose huge resource catalog and bigger heart supported AP teachers for decades. One of the requirements of this Kim, the Kim Phobia AP Service Award is that the winner exemplifies Kim's spirit of sharing. Chris Monsor does this in spades. He teaches all levels of biology and at Columbian High School in Tiffin, and he's been an active NABT member for 15 years. He has served as an editor at the, for the American Biology Teacher. He was a regional coordinator, he has served on the board, and he is the current bio club chair. He's also our incoming president-elect. Chris is quick to share his resources, his successes, and his struggles, all to help his colleagues. This award is a small token of thanks from those same colleagues. It's my pleasure to, enter, to present Chris with the 2020 AP Biology Service Award. And we'd like to thank the Neil A. Campbell Educational Trust and Pearson for their sponsorship. Next, I will be presenting the two-year college biology teaching award. Every year, the two-year college section of NABT selects an exceptional instructor from their ranks and honors them for their classroom practice. This year, the two-year college biology teaching award goes to Dr. Heather Seitz from Johnson County Community College. In addition to her classroom, Heather is a Pulse Fellow, 
a section editor for the Journal of Microbiology and um, Biology, the Journal of Microbiology and Biology Education. She is also a champion for course-based undergraduate research experiences for CURES. Those of us who know Heather also know that she is a advocate for first-generation students being one herself, and she is a national leader at the two-year college level. It is my pleasure to congratulate Heather Seitz for this award, and we um, and we're so glad that she has been able to promote two-year college teaching in NABT and the, in the nation. Wow. Next, I will be presenting the four-year college and university section biology teaching award. This year's award goes to Dr. Kelly Hogan. Kelly is a, an, an instructor at the University of North Carolina, where she teaches 400 plus C introductory biology classes. She, um, and she's known for demonstrating the effectiveness of those methods in those large lecture classes. She's also a co-author of an intro bio textbook, and she was invited to be the UNC Chapel Hill commencement speaker in 2015, where she modeled inclusive teaching practices during the commencement. She works with educators both locally and nationally, she, in workshops and in learning communities centering, centered around course-based undergraduate research experiences. She is also running workshops on inclusive pedagogy. Dr. Hogan exemplifies what can be done at the college and university level to bring in best practices for undergraduate education, and we congratulate her on her award. It's now my pleasure to present the 2020 four-year college and university section research in biology education award to Dr. Amanda Glaze Krampus. Amanda is well known within the NABT community for being a strong advocate for teacher education and specifically evolution education research and outreach. We know her from her professional development workshops that benefit and support teachers from middle school all the way up to the undergraduate level. Her research centers on the intersections of science and society and specifically on the acceptance of evolution in the southeastern United States. Amanda shares not only her research, but her background and her personal experiences with us for years. She is the, uh, she's a recipient of the 2020, or sorry, she's the recipient of the Evolution, Evo, Evolution Education Award. She's also a reviewing editor for the American Biology Teacher. She knows how important it is that we get all of our students to discuss controversial issues and that we meet them where they're at. It's my pleasure to congratulate Dr. Amanda Glaze Krampus on her Research in Biology Education Award. With that, I'd like to reintroduce President-elect Dr. Julie Engel, who will be presenting the 2020 Outstanding Biology Teacher Award to our recipients. Thank you, Jackie. The teaching of biology and life science is vital to the development of a scientifically literate populace. Thus, the National Association of Biology Teachers established the Outstanding Biology Teacher Award nearly 60 years ago to recognize exceptional classroom educators. And it is one of the association's most prestigious awards. Each year, the NABT attempts to identify the best biology and life science teachers in each of the 50 states, Washington, D.C., each Canadian province, Puerto Rico, and overseas territories. The OBTA awardees are some of the best biology teachers in the country. But before recognizing our 2020 OBTA recipients, I would like to give a heartfelt thank you to our OBTA directors who donate their time to coordinate the award for their, their specific state. I would also like to recognize Carolina Biological Supply Company 
for their generous support of the OBTA program. The multiple other sponsors, such as BioRAD, Mini PCR, Mini One System, Population Con uh, Connection, and other companies and donors that provide gifts locally. And finally, to NABT for providing each OBTA recipient with a complimentary one year membership to NABT. All right, so let's get going. Let's recognize our 2020 OBTA awardees. Region one OBTA awardees, Julie Bowen, Bowen uh, from uh, Wellesley High School in Wellesley Hills, Massachusetts. Catherine Hibbett, Lincoln School, Providence, Rhode Island. Our Region 2 OBTA honoree is Alice Shell from Patrick Henry High School, Ashland, Virginia. Region 3 OBTA honorees, Heather Essig, Visitation Academy, Town and Country, Missouri. Robert Furlong, Osego, oh, Otsego um, High School, Bowling Green, Ohio. Michelle Griffin Wenzel from Germantown High School, Germantown, Wisconsin. Wendy Johnson, East Kentwood Freshman Campus, Kentwood, Michigan. Michelle Kozak, Homewood Flossmore High School, Flossmore, Illinois. Rena Makestaller, Southwood High School, Wabash, Indiana. Our Region 4 OBTA honorees, Lisa Fuccello, Brandon Valley High School, Brandon, South Dakota. Andrew Taylor, Olathe Northwest High School, Olathe, Kansas. Region 5 OBTA honorees, Amber Lawson, Salisbury High School, Salisbury, North Carolina. Christina Nicholas Hurt, Siegel High School, Murfreesboro, Tennessee. Region 6 OBTA honorees, Annette Buckner, Dalton High School, Dalton, Georgia. Narissa Doramus, Thompson High School, Alabaster, Alabama. Region 7 OBTA honorees, Chance Duncan, Russellville High School, Russellville, Arkansas. Chelsea Herndon, Metro Technology Center, Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. Barrett, or Barney Ide, Green Hill School, Addison, Texas. Zachary Zimmerman, Shadow Ridge High School, Surprise, Arizona. Region 8 OBTA honorees, Ross Sappenfeld, or Sappenfield, Vail Mountain School, Vail, Colorado. Sarah Urban, Capital High School, Helena, Montana. Region 9 OBTA, OBTA honoree is Glenn Wolkenfeld, Berkeley High School, Berkeley, California. Congratulations to all of the 2020 OBTA recipients. Congratulations. Now, before we make the final recognition of the evening, let's give another warm round of applause to all of our 2020 NABT award winners. Thank you for helping to shape and guide future generations to understand 
and appreciate science. So for those of you who are impressed with our award winners, this could be you next year. Please consider applying for the NABT award that best reflects you as a biology and life science teacher. Finally, I would like Good looking group of teachers. Thank you for all you do. Finally, I would like to thank Sharon Gusky, the 2020 NABT president for her leadership during a very challenging year. Just two months into her presidency, the pandemic hit and life as we knew it changed overnight. Zoom became the new meeting location where professional tops are required and formal pants are optional face masks become, became a common apparel, and toilet paper became an endangered household item. Over the past year, the integrity of science, especially biological sciences, has been under attack. However, our NABT family has stayed strong and stayed together. I credit this success in part to the dedication that our NABT members have for ensuring that all students work to achieve science literacy. But I also credit the success of our NABT community to the quality leadership of our 2020 NABT president, Sharon Gusky. Sharon, thank you for your leadership and ensuring that even during trying times, such as a worldwide pandemic, national attacks on science, and even a presidential election, you have been able to keep our NABT voice strong. With that, I would like to present Sharon Gusky with the NABT Presidential Service Plaque. Thank you, Julie, for your kind words. I am very proud of our NABT community, our board of directors, and our executive director for their commitments to keeping NABT not only going, but strong and providing a, a phenomenal support to each other during this time. I know our Facebook group just blew up during this pandemic. The sharing of resources has been phenomenal. So thank you all. I just also want to take a moment to congratulate all the award winners and to encourage you to use this opportunity to get more involved in NABT. We're always looking for upcoming leaders and committee uh, support and people to help us pick the next year's awardees. I also just want to thank Julie. I look forward to serving with you on the board and working with you under your leadership next year. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Sharon, for your exceptional leadership this year. And thank you to all of our volunteers. And thank you to everyone who helped us recognize outstanding teachers from all over the country and at all levels. And even in 2020, NABT will have our ceremonial passing of the gavel. And so, Madam President, please pass the gavel to me so that I can pass it to the president-elect. I will do that gladly. Here you go. Thank you. Thank you. Madam President Engel, please conclude this portion of our NABT conference. I would like to conclude the 2020 NABT awards ceremony and the NABT annual conference to an end. Thank you. Now everyone, 
This is the first portion of the NEBT conference weekend, and we thank you for joining us for this special presentation of our awardees. We look forward to congratulating them in person in 2021 during our conference in Atlanta. But we invite you to join us for just a very casual meeting. Uh, it's just a Zoom meeting so that everybody can uh, say goodbye, uh, introduce themselves. We can congratulate our award winners. So there is a Zoom link in the chat. And please feel free to join us just for an informal conclusion. Thank you so much for bringing the 2020 NABT conference to reality. And we look forward to seeing you throughout the rest of the year as we have programming all the way until December. Take care, everyone.